Hey, a random person that strolled upon my channel. I'm Fizzlechew, aka the Chicken King. Welcome back to another video. Today, yes, today, we're gonna be reading r slash nice guys. So sit back, relax, and get into some PJs or something. Ah, no. <laughs> okay, so here's the first one. My old nickname. Okay. Question mark. Miss you. Look, dude. I'm only saying this to be nice. If you weren't hacked, this is weird. We haven't talked in like 20 years, and then you. <laughs> You text me in the middle of the night? I'm a completely different person than I used to be, and if I wanted to talk to you, I would have reached out. Don't have time for all that negativity. I don't mean it any harm. I mean, he said Amy. Um, and what I did wasn't weird or out of line, but uh, if you want to take it like that, please do. I never saw this message before he deleted it, so he probably said something really bad. That's usually what they do. They can't wait for a response, because waiting a whole day, because, you know, somebody's busy that day. Work is a thing. <laughs> the hobbies are things. You have other friends. And even if they're ignoring you, leave them alone, you know? Somebody doesn't want to be around you, just find somebody who does. That's all I'm saying. Weird ass birch tree. That's how convos work, you do didn't reach out to me, but I reached out to you. You're welcome. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Ain't nobody about wanting your nasty ass birch tree ass. Literally uh, tired of the shit boy. You're the devil trying to get at me because I'm doing real good. Are you doing good? Um. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> and if you don't think so, then you must just be straight. Beep. You're the weird one pulling a problem out of your ass. Well, well, and <laughs> there's no, not. <laughs> this guy needs a dictionary. That's all I'm gonna say. And put a dick. <laughs> dictionary. <laughs> Get it? Dick. Dictionary. That was the first one, um, so I, th I think you got, got her all figured out, uh, nice guys are not actually nice guys. <laughs> okay, Milady tips Fedora with creepy asterisks. Wow, <laughs> we get some uh, nice guys with some creepy asterisks, you get like a, f a bonus. Hello there, specifically if you like accents. Winky face with that D, oh my gosh, super smiley face, <laughs> wow. I just joined this site, heard many things about it, so I had to try it at least once. So since I just joined this, let me give my formal greeting to you. <laughs> Kneels on one knee. <laughs> Hello there, princess. It's nice to meet you. I'd like to consider myself as a kind, loving, caring type of guy. And trust me, I know many guys out there claim to be this. Oh yeah, <laughs> so many. <laughs> so basically, if that ticks your boxes and you like being treated with respect and like a, a princess, then maybe I am the right guy for you. Did I also mention I do ironing, uh, cooking, and cleaning? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I do daily chores. I'm so cool. <laughs> Not to bark up the this this guy's tree, uh, but I do daily chores. I wash the dishes. I cook my own meals. Wow, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pretty darn rare to find <laughs> a guy like that. Sure, sure. I guess so. <laughs> to an extent, I guess. <laughs> so I like to consider myself a rare catch. Whoa. Anyway, if you like what you hear, don't be shy to message me back. Gets up from one knee. I must go now, princess. But someday, I shall return. Gets on his bicycle. And cycles into the sunset. I know all the, <laughs> all the guys say they're different. And good guys. Don't expect you to believe me right away. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's gotta be like satirical, like, who says that? <laughs> Gets on bicycle and cycles into the sunset? Like, I mean, 
I mean, that's cool as fuck, but holy shit, who says that? I do ironing and cooking and cleaning. Wow. You can do daily chores. Good job, dude. Oh my gosh. Fuck off. Even if a man wrote this to you, genuinely, you would f fuck him off because he's a nice guy. You would all pick the troubled bloke who acts hard everywhere, who then proceeds to treat you terribly for years, but you love him. All the while calling guys who do open doors and pay for dinner and act as protectors <laughs> toxic sound familiar that's right you girls and women ruin it for yourselves because now the real and good men don't want relationships so well done here's what i'm thinking what are you thinking you me a real date not like how kids do it these days like a real date i'll pick you up say 5 30 flowers a pretty car and a pretty girl. <laughs> First, we grab dinner, your favorite place, obviously. Talk for like an hour over dinner, then we catch a 7 o'clock movie. The best one out, like Spider Man or something awesome. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> Let's go on a date and watch the Spider Man. Heck yeah. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad of a date, but. <laughs> Only if, like, the other person on the date is into that, you know? Gotta make sure. Then, we go get ice cream, I'll get strawberry, and you get your favorite flavor. And we can sit there and low-key fall in love with each other while we watch cars go by and talk about life. Then, have you home by your 9 o'clock curfew. And if I'm lucky, a hug and a kiss goodnight. I put a lot of thought into that. I feel like scheduling a date like that is kind of just, you know, it, it takes away from the point, you know? You know, I think maybe scheduling like a dinner, that's fine, like one thing, then seeing where it goes from there would probably be, you know, better, in my opinion, personally, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, you know? Uh, as you know, I'm not, I'm not knowledge about all of this stuff very well, but yeah, that's just my thoughts. It's just, you know, enjoying each other's company and seeing what the heck blooms out of it afterwards. And if you, if you're not into each other, then, you know, just, uh, leave it at that nice dinner. See you later, dude. <laughs> that sort of thing. I don't know. You know, <laughs> that's just, uh, my thoughts.